The British Antarctic Survey ship, James Clark Ross, is seen here arriving at Harwich from Frederickshaven, following a period in dry dock on the 12th of August 2020. The ship operates in the Southern Ocean during the Austral summer season, supporting British Antarctic Survey's ambitious marine science programme and also plays an important role in the relief of five Antarctic research stations, delivering staff, supplies and equipment. The current plan is for the ship to spend a period at Harwich loading stores ready for her next season down in the Antarctic. This involves a new crew joining the ship. With the virus pandemic, the crew will spend 14 days in isolation in a nearby hotel. The plans at the moment are for the ship to leave the UK at the beginning of November with a short call in to Portsmouth if needed to fill up with aviation fuel for the shore stations in the Antarctic region. The ship will visit Stanley in the Falkland Islands which is the ship's home port before proceeding to supply shore station bases at South Georgia and another southern research station. This may be the ship's last season on the supply run down to the Antarctic as the ship is due to be replaced by the newly British built Antarctic survey ship Sir David Attenborough. This ship, James Clark Ross, was launched by Her Majesty the Queen in 1990 as primarily a marine science research vessel for biological, oceanographic and geophysical cruises. It is equipped with a suite of laboratories and winch systems that allows scientific equipment to be deployed astern or midships. The ship has an extremely low noise signature allowing the deployment of sensitive acoustic equipment. A SWAF bathymetry system was fitted in 2000. The RRS, the Royal Research Ship James Clark Ross is named after Admiral Sir James Clark Ross, Royal Navy, and was built by Swan Hunter Shipbuilders, Walls End, on the Tyne in the UK. The vessel can steam a steady two knots through level sea ice up to one metre thick to assist passage through heavy pack ice, a compressed air system rolls the ship from side to side, freeing the passage.